As a warning to our listeners, the following excerpt contains graphic descriptions of women being exploited and abused. The way she had put it was that she was just making all this money and she was going to buy herself a whole new wardrobe and other acquaintances were saying, no, it's not like that at all. Like the strip club world is really dangerous and she's hurting herself. You're not an employee. The way they get around any kind of labor laws is that you're considered an independent contractor and you actually have to pay the club to work. It was really, really fucking awful from the start. Like the way I built it up in my mind was that I was going to be like this sexy goddess that men were going to pay for the privilege of watching on stage and wads of 20s and all that kind of stuff. And it was kind of like the polar opposite of that. They make it really, really clear that they see you as a form of livestock. Like by the second song, you have to be fully naked. And if you don't, you're fined. You have to pay the club a certain amount of money if you don't disrobe in time. The stage is just a really a minor part like that's basically you advertising what you have for sale i just wasn't expecting to i guess it all kind of comes back um so yeah after you get off stage like i think it's about every three or four songs all all of the girls have to walk around to every table and ask the men if they want a lap dance because that's where the money is it's really clear that some of the men just get off on not just the power of that but the hurt feelings of telling women no the ability to just say like no you're old get your saggy tits and they'll often grab you literally like they're feeling a piece of meat there were no women that were not on drugs within a couple of days somebody offered me heroin heroin doesn't get you drunk like you don't lose control like when you're drunk and you're not like out of touch with reality like when you're high smoking pot it's like you without any negative emotions all like anxiety and sadness rage those are just mellowed out and i got high and i went to the strip club and i made like 350 dollars in one night i very quickly found a boyfriend who found like a, a cash cow in me basically he had a drug problem and i mean how was he gonna pay for it i was so i had to get high to go to the strip club and i had to go to the strip club to get high i'd seen the movies where people have horrible withdrawal and all of that kind of stuff but i wasn't taking anybody at their word at that point so i was just like oh it becomes a problem i'll just quit how hard can it be and i managed to stay clean for a few days but I still needed to pay rent and all that kind of stuff so I tried going into the strip club sober and it was just a, a no-go like words cannot express how disgusting those men are I mean subhuman is a word they they know what these women's lives are like how utterly devoid of compassion I was in the strip club world for years and that that really is the story all all of the women i think i met one woman who was completely sober and she was raising her child and trying to go to school other than that like every single one without exception at minimum they're smoking weed and drinking even if you do really well the the strip club takes at least half of it and like you got to buy these new outfits and the hair stuff and all the while like what you're selling is becoming less and less valuable because it's the one place that the more experience you have and the older you are the less money you make i mean i saw too what happened to the older women when you say older do you mean somebody who's like 30 yeah you're about to retire and they retire to the streets like they become prostitutes as female human beings, our bodies have been the site of our oppression, the source of so much pain for thousands if not millions of years. Men and boys have controlled the female body, terrorized it and destroyed it, used it for their own gratification and reproductive agenda, reduced it to a sexual object, conditioned us to be embarrassed of it, etc. We could say that the feminist fight is nothing more than women and girls fight for bodily sovereignty. At the end of the day, all patriarchal oppression comes down to this battleground, and no other feminist victory means much without the victory of fully possessing our own bodies.